Alright, this will be a fun little video to make. What we're going to be making a video here about is the strange resonant properties of these Hutchison effect samples on other hard objects. And to be able to portray this, it's easiest to see it when you can look into a hard object. So what I've got right here is a little lens into a hard object and trying my best to show this. What you'll see is this plate, this table surface, is resonantly um, contacting with this hard glass. And so as these Hutchison effect metal samples vibrate down, they transfer resonance through a, a unknown way that's going to make this hard glass jiggle like jello, but the contact points that are touching the resonant surface are still. So I'm going to try to video this. It's going to hopefully turn out interesting um, through this perspective. And what you'll see is this hard glass object jiggling around like jello, but you'll hopefully see that inside there's a... We'll try to get a video of it. It's, it's not moving. It's very strange. So we'll see if we can't get this video. tapers down that torsional resonant um, mechanical fr uh, forces going into that you can see it pulsing around like a jello mold and it's hard glass you can almost kind of see the reverberations springing back and forth through it points so I've tried to show in my other videos which is torsional energy transferring. Very strange, efficient, unknown transference of inertia is going on here. It's more than inertia, it's resonance of hard objects in a way that apparently, apparently, somehow or another, I mean if I poke this thing it's, it's totally hard, but we're sitting here watching it jiggle like jello, so we've got some sort of a paradox on our hands caused by the simple motion. It seems to cross the line of understandable physics at least without the incorporation of a torsion field theory, that is to say. And as this um, inertia tapers down, it seems to transfer to these other objects as well that are in line, but this is, uh, this is in line with the other objects and inside of the torsional, uh, I don't know, torsional resonance of the setup. I'm try to get a different angle to show you a little bit. So, got I got these all torsionally lined up and linked. One conscious event. So, interesting, interesting stuff.
so you search for a beach vacation. Oh, Some gosh. Beaches, sand beaches, big beaches, small beaches, until you... And telephones and commercials. Let's hey, try to get one more. Oh, and gosh. So <laughs> Havoc. Havoc has ensued. So, let me try to reduce this havoc. Get one more look at this. Just for the fun of it. This is pretty wild. Look at those very bottom touching lines aren't moving. Those are solidly planted, it seems like, and then everything is reverberating up from those solid points of contact, making this whole thing jiggle like jello. And so I've taken advantage of this um, by using this metal sample right here. I just stuck it underneath the hood of my vehicle and uh, wedged it in the radiator core support and uh, just try to see if I could get a little bit better efficiency and it seemed to um, work inconsistently but when it did work it seemed to give me anomalously more than double gas mileage. So it started somehow or another harmonizing with the resonance of my engine while it was running seemingly i know this is a wild claim but it's just one cool thing that ran through my mind it seemed to work out it's an extension of the use of this sort of strange resonant properties of these metal samples which transfer motion all up and down this whole situation as i've showed in my other videos very strange We got a little bit out of alignment there, so it wasn't quite as strong. There, now we're back in alignment. Look at that line, it's solid on the bottom. It's not moving the contact point. But everything else is, seems to be jiggling up and resonating from those points of contact. And I see it kind of reverberate around and jiggle and then back up and forth. There it just moved, jiggled around, there it just moved. Now it's solid again. And it seems to be tapering down, reverberating its resonance back and forth through a solid object somehow. So, interesting stuff.